I'm not gonna lie, um, I don't know what I'm doing here today. I just kind of thought it'd be nice to throw up some Destiny gameplay before the game comes out tomorrow. So, uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about things that I'm thinking about and whatnot, and I think about a lot of things, so I'm gonna have to narrow that down. But anyways, you'll be seeing some Destiny beta footage in the background. The beginning here, the first couple of minutes, you'll see me in a uh, dark, scary area, and you better believe that I was pissing my pants during this, because if you haven't seen in the uh, Silent Hill playable trailer video I put up, I was, honest to God, truly terrified that entire time. Like, it was not acting at all. And by the way, if you didn't read the description, I was talking to my friends in a Skype call, so that's why I was like... So yeah, I wasn't possessed by the devil, which would be the initial thought, so yeah, that's cool. But anyways, if you haven't seen that video, I told you briefly that uh, my sister made me watch a scary movie, and I was held down against my will. I was five, so otherwise I probably would have beat the shit out of her. I would have murdered my family member not to watch that scary movie as a child, which is kind of scary in itself. But anyways, um, yeah, I was extremely terrified, and it kind of ruined my life. So if I try to watch a scary movie, I will, honest to God, dream about it for the next, like, month and a half, and I'll wake up terrified, and I'll be, like, brushing my teeth, like, with a sword in my hand, ready to kill anyone that walks up. So, all, you know, and then after that, I'm just, like, used to wanting to kill people when I brush my teeth, and when I go to the dentist's office, I sometimes bring handguns. So, anyways, that's cool, but, yeah, I'd be seeing some gameplay, um... If you want to quickly note here, I get out a sniper rifle and I go quick scope boss ass mofo on these motherfuckers, this right here. So I just want to point that out. It's something that has to be said. No scope, bitch. And then like quick scope faggot, quick scope faggot, 360 phase destiny gameplay anyways. So that's cool. But um, yeah, what's been happening lately? Well, I, uh, I want to tell you that um, I've gone on a diet recently. Which is just great, you know. I'm trying to help get my health benefit. It's an ice cream diet. So, I've been eating nothing but ice cream for the past uh, couple of weeks. Well, I mean, I've been eating regular food, but every single night I've been trying to eat ice cream. Because I'm capable of gaining weight, so I'm like, how about I eat ice cream and see if I can gain weight? And if not, then that's cool. I just get to eat MES ice cream. So, I like ice cream. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm a little chubby boy on the inside. So, I like to eat my ice cream, stuff my face, and... Uh, Deal with the health benefits when I'm 35 and obese and barely able to walk, so that'll be cool. I'll actually have everything made out of ice cream, so I can just eat my entire house before they get foreclosed upon because uh, I haven't paid my bills in years. So uh, yeah, that'll be my life when I'm older. So that's always fun. It's actually much better than my previous diet of uh, children and small animals that I find in the forest. That's always great. I always feel like when I have to go out in the forest, I have to do several things. That includes shitting in the woods like a man and trying to eat animals raw so I can get uh, food poisoning and hopefully die in the hospital days later. So uh, I decided that I wanted to talk about a little issue I had today. You know, just because that's what's in my head right now. So I'm going to talk about it. If you don't like it, then that kind of hurts my feelings because I kind of wish people would care about my problems. Because, uh,. Lonely. But anyways, so I of course promised my girlfriend that I'd go to homecoming because, uh, you know, she wants to pick out a pretty little dress and I want to play house because my mom thought it was weird that I wanted to wear dresses when I was younger and play house, so I'm going to do it with her and she's going to wear the dress, apparently not me, fucking bitch, anyways. Um, so she wants to go to homecoming, that's cool or whatever, you know, I'm not a huge fan of homecoming, but it's okay, so why not, you know. And, uh, I actually happened to make plans for the same weekend about a month and a half ago. I just now figured out when homecoming was, so I'm a little bit fucked on that. My boy Randy, or Forndy, you know, shout out to him. He's, uh, taking me on a little trip because for his birthday he got some, like, resort stay for us. So I'm gonna see if we can change that. And if not, then I don't really know what to do. I'm considering just dressing my dad up like me, considering, uh, he's my father, he must look like me, I don't know, and, uh, having, uh, my dad go with my girlfriend, uh, hopefully my girlfriend doesn't decide she wants to get a little bit crazy on the dance floor, or start, uh, shaking it for my dad, I don't know how I'd feel about that, you know, as long as she doesn't make out with him, it's okay, a few kisses won't hurt me, um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I have no idea what I'm gonna do, I'm a little bit scared. One idea that I had is uh, just holding up the resort, like, uh, you know, just going to homecoming like normal, and then putting underwear on my head, um, and going and holding up the resort, and they'll laugh at me because I wear hands underwear, but I don't care, they're cheap and they're comfortable, I love them. 
it's just uh, I can't get used to the smell of another underwear after this smells like my body. I just sniff my underwear all the time, and it makes me feel comforted and like I'm at home. So uh, how could I change that, you know? So I don't know. What am I going to do? Um, I only have so many options. Um, let me try to explore a few other ones here. Um, I could... We could transfer schools to somewhere in New York where we're going to the resort. And uh, I could just go to homecoming. <sighs> Maybe I can talk to my school and get them to have the homecoming at the resort. No, that would be pretty fucking awesome. But I don't know how they'd feel about uh, making a bunch of kids travel to New York. Hopefully none of them would get murdered, except for the ones I don't like, in which case I would murder them, you know, myself. But, uh, yeah, either way, it's a really big problem, and I don't know how I'm going to say... I mean, I don't know how I'm going to break the news to either one of them. Like, I'm going to try to talk to my... Randy first, and maybe see if he can change shit, and if not, then, uh, I guess I'm just gonna pay, have to be like, listen, bitch, by that I mean, honey, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but, <laughs> and then hopefully she'll just break up and make some massive pussy, and I won't have to tell her that I can't go to homecoming with her, so, that's my plan, that's cool, so, uh, yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do about that, so yeah, major problem there, let's see here, uh, what, what other problems, I'll just make this, I got one less problem if I kill myself. No, that's not right. That would actually be a problem in itself. My family would get very sad, except for everyone that doesn't love me and my family, which is everyone, which means the only one that would actually love me is my dog, and that's before. And that's just because she's not smart enough to realize what kind of person I am. So, um, let's see here. What kind of problems do I have here? I have holes in all my socks. Um, I get mistaken for a homeless person at my school all the time. Um, and I'm actually not allowed to come in until they do extensive paperwork on me. So, you know, it's a problem, but, uh, I'm actually wearing 10% less clothing. So, uh, you know, it's under dress code. I'm not allowed to come into school, apparently, so I gotta keep my feet. And my socks, uh, what I usually like to do is I like to take them out because they get a little bit sweaty and uh, make kids smell them. Uh, it's actually a toxic fume, which means I have to get a chemical bath every time in the chemistry lab, but that's okay. So, apparently i got to keep my socks on my feet now, or otherwise I'll get kicked out of school. I actually spend 20 hours there due to how long uh, it takes for them to keep me there, because I think I'm a hobo. But, you know, it's a major issue, definitely, so uh, I might have to go and get new socks. But, I mean, I get my socks at Dick's Sporting Goods, because I like my uh, socks short, just like everything else in my life. My parents' expectations of me, my penis size, etc., etc. But, uh, apparently I'm gonna have to get new socks at Dick's Sporting Goods, and that's really fucking far away, especially for someone that literally cannot name the street that they live next to. I can name my own street somehow, but honestly, if you gave me directions to the common places, like my girlfriend's house, my friend's house, to school, and you asked where that place was by just saying the directions to that place, I wouldn't know what the fuck you're talking about. So, yeah, that's cool. I'm extremely, uh, slow with directions and things of the sort. I have no concept of, uh, yeah, uh... Is it geography, where places are and stuff, like I even knew. But, uh, yeah, I have no concept of any of that whatsoever, so, uh, that's unfortunate. Even my own. But, you know how it is. Uh, what other problems do I have in life? Uh, I have no safety net on my trampoline, so I'm risking my life like a hero of the United States of America every time I go out on that thing. Uh, it actually blew into a... Uh, our pond next to our house a couple of years ago in the winter time and it's cracked on the fucking ice and it ripped the net off so yeah major safety hazard it might be illegal I am my suspicion my parents actually went all went out there with a kitchen knife because that's all we have in our house is a kitchen knife so we don't carry real knives because uh it's for only for uh men that uh hunt animals with their bare hands in our house so we they took their kitchen knives and they cut the net off hoping that i would jump off and snap my neck one day because I actually didn't realize the net was off until I, jump off. I, j I jumped off one day because I was just used to having it there. Just kidding. But, yeah, they might want me to snap my neck, so it might it might be a be problem. And whether the problem is I might jump off and snap my neck or that my parents want that to happen, I guess both would be a problem. But, uh, you know, I guess I'll just live with it, roll with it. So, yeah, definitely major issues there. Um, I'll see if I can think of any other ones. Oh, a major one here, schoolwork. Yeah, I have sociology and the teacher sucks me to do a paper project of shit like every two weeks and homie don't play that game because uh i'm pretty terrible at writing papers what usually happens is i'll write a paper and i'll say this is the best thing i've ever put my life into and like i'll cry and like go to my grandma's grave and like read it to her and i'll be like are you proud grandma <laughs> 
and uh, I'll just be so happy about it, and then I'll usually uh, turn it in the next day in class, like, feeling extremely high and mighty, um, and uh, the teacher will get it, look at it, take a shit on it, um, use it to wipe their ass with, and hand it right back before they even read it, and they'll be like, this is the worst paper I've ever seen in my entire life, and uh, it makes me just a little bit sad about everything that I ever lived for, so then I have to go to my grandma and yell at her in the graveyard and be like, why'd you lie, grandma? That paper was terrible! And other people that are there mourning their dead just don't understand me. That's both awkward and really upsetting that I think I uh, did a good job on something, and then the teacher just tells me that I'm a piece of shit at writing. Uh, but on top of that, uh, my English teacher was a massive bitch last year, so I'm sure she gave me a slightly lower grade than I deserved just because she was a little bit of a bitch. She acted like she was uh, 14, and she was probably like 75 minus 30 years. So, yeah, that was an uh, interesting experience. I hated that bitch. Kind of uh, hopes she get fired, but... Uh, Apparently I'm not the principal of the school, says the real principal of the school, but whatever, he can think that as long as he wants to. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's not so bad because I actually stole her textbook because she was <laughs> trustworthy of us. Little did she know I was in her class. And she, uh, not only gave out her phone number to everyone, which I still have in my phone to this day, <laughs> but she also gave out textbooks to everyone without, uh, writing their numbers down like teachers do. So, yeah, I stole the bitch's textbook. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna sell it for, like, $40 online, and then I'm gonna spend the money on, like, a, uh, a large, uh, weapon of some kind so I can go into school and beat the shit out of her with it. So that's always cool. I might also take her phone number and just distribute it to random men online, say I'm some hot 14-year-old bitch on uh, Tinder or something, and give out her phone number so she can get uh, lots of dick pics from men, even though that's highly illegal and I maybe shouldn't do that. But I don't know, if I can sell her phone number, maybe once I sell her textbook, I'll just, like throw in like free phone number of 35-year-old bitch included, just so people can uh, hit her up on there, you know, may make her love life complete. Maybe that's why she was such a bitch, just because uh, she was just lonely. Only woman can't find any love in the world, so maybe that was it. Maybe she's just a massive bitch, like I would assume so. But uh, either way, you know, that was just my life. That was my life, you know. So, uh, yeah, papers of that type of sort, um, along with other various things, you know. My homework, I had to dissect a little rat, which was really sad, because there was rats in the back of the room. So I was just like, don't look! And I blindfolded the rats, which apparently I'm not allowed to do or whatever, so I got in trouble for that. And, uh, it was just a sad, sad world. He had humongous testicles. Shout out to rats, because their nuts are huge. My girlfriend had a rat, and its testicles would literally get caught on <laughs> its pin. Like, it would try to, like, go through one of the little rat holes, and its testicles would just get, like, caught on, <laughs> on the cage. And, uh, he would just be trying to go through the hole, and then he'd, like, get hung up on his testicles. Like, wh how would you feel if, like, in your life you were, like, crawling, like, or going down, like, a slide or something, and your balls were just so huge, like, you went halfway down the slide, and then you just stopped, and you just look up, and your balls are just caught on the top, and then you have to climb all the way back up and, like, unhook them. So that was his life. Uh, shout out to Ralph the Rat, albino, cute as fuck, unfortunately he passed away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, mourn, R.I.P., Ralph, in the comments if you want to show respect. But anyways, um, yeah, that was a little bit sad. I got to learn a bunch of organs. Um, unfortunately, their testicles is not one of the ones I have to learn. But, uh, you know, I would have known that. So too bad, you know, she missed out on my knowledge. But um, either way, you know, I got to roll that way in life. Uh, what else do I have to do? Um, uh, I don't know. Lunch. Well, lunch kind of fucking sucks this year, unfortunately. Um, a bunch of people that don't talk about killing animals and, uh, you know, rats, nut sacks all day. So, unfortunately, I'm limited to the small group of people that I have willing to talk about such things. I'm probably against the will. I don't really know, though. So, that's cool. Um, but, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I just want to talk to you guys about some really weird stuff. I don't really know what I'm saying. Mom's at the store getting me, uh, whole milk because that's what I drink. You know, I like that. If I could have life my way, I would just uh, keep a few cows in my room and have them shit everywhere, and then I just suck on their nipples every time I was thirsty. Get real whole milk. Um, but uh, unfortunately, uh, apparently, I'm not certified to take care of animals <laughs> after my incidents. But you know, uh, you know, the world will be the world. So uh, I'm just gonna sit here and talk about more weird stuff to myself while my mom goes gets me my milk, my kiwi, and my yogurt, cause that's good stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I like making them, you know. 
Uh, they get a little bit weird sometimes, like normal. But anyways, if you like this video, leave me a like. Leave me some comments. RIP Ralph, whatever you want. Leave me some questions. Subscribe for more crazy videos like this. And thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.